Each year for April Fools, I challenge myself to come up with a simple geeky prank. This year, my goal is to make a motion detecting squirt gun with parts that can be found at a local grocery or hardware store. Let's see how far we can get. If you enjoy these videos and would like to support them, please consider subscribing, liking, or donating to my Patreon page. Okay, so the goal here is to make an automatic squirt gun that is triggered whenever it detects motion. So I headed over to my local grocery store and tried to find something that we could use to build this. Two promising items I found were this motion detecting air freshener, yes the same one I used for my motion detecting confetti bomb, and then this bug repellent with an automatic sprayer. The rough idea would be to somehow combine these two so that the motion detector triggers the automatic sprayer. So as all good hackers do, let's take everything apart, starting with the air freshener. The premise of how this works is that it has a sensor on the front that detects movement and then triggers this arm to go down. If you remove the batteries and the back screws, you can see that it does this with a motor and a bunch of gears. But for now, let's set this aside and grab the automatic sprayer. Remove the bottle from the sprayer and safely seal it and store it away. Then on the trigger, you can unscrew the back and remove the batteries, and then unscrew the side to view how it all works. Pressing the trigger connects the power from the batteries to the motor, which activates this spraying device. Now bringing back the air freshener, let's see how we can combine these two to make them work. We want the motion detector on the air freshener to trigger the automatic sprayer. Right now it's only triggering this motor, which activates the arm to release. So instead of the wires running to this motor, let's see if we can run them to this motor. So go ahead and unscrew and remove the gearing system, and then cut the motor from the wires and strip the ends of the wires. Then on the sprayer side, cut the wires that go to the battery pack and strip them as well. Now we want to connect these two sets of wires together. And since DC motors are bi-directional, the wire colors really don't matter. Now if you put the batteries back into the air freshener and trigger the sensor, it should activate the automatic sprayer. Okay, so it does what we want, now we just need to make it look good. What would be nice is if the sprayer could just sit on top of the air freshener, but the wires currently are too short. So removing the batteries again, we can just add some extra wire to extend it. Another issue is that if we want to feed this thing water, the nozzle is probably going to have to be lengthened. A simple way to do this would be to just grab a straw and seal it around the top using hot glue or tape. Now go ahead and start reassembling everything and making it look nice. Lastly, we need to add a water source to it. I actually had this little liquid travel vial that was acquired from a recent hotel stay and it just happened to fit perfectly in the air freshener. So once you have a container with water, just cut the straw to size and insert it into the container. Now test it out and if everything works, congratulate yourself on a job well done. The next thing to do would be to find some way to disguise it and to surprise unknowing passers-by. Admittedly, the motion detector is very limited, so if you want more control over the sensor, you can watch this video that shows you how to use an Arduino as the motion sensor. Got any cool April Fool's pranks? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, click here to watch last week's tutorial and comment show. And if you enjoy these videos, please support me by liking, subscribing, or donating to my Patreon campaign. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.